Welcome to the Raven Space YouTube. My name is Jason and this is Raven Space Daily, where we talk about the Baltimore Ravens every single day. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We have three great news stories. Before we start, please subscribe and share this video. So our first story of the day is that Corey Davis uh, visited with the Baltimore Ravens yesterday, which wraps up the Ravens scouting the top three receivers in this draft. So as you guys know, the Ravens have met with Mike Williams and John Ross and now Corey Davis. A lot of fans, they like Corey Davis because he runs good routes. And they know that the best route runner usually transfers over to the NFL the best. However, Corey Davis is a wild card. There's been several articles out. Uh, Peter King from Monday Morning Quarterback um, even said that Corey Davis is the wild card in this draft. And so where Corey Davis goes, it matters how other people go. Because a lot of people think that either Corey Davis is going to be the first one off the board or the last one off the board when it comes in terms of the receivers. Um, again, in a lot of drafts, we see that Mike Williams uh, goes to the Baltimore Ravens. Um, and if that's true, that means the Ravens have at least two receivers to choose from. Um, because I only think that one will get off the board by then. Now, if Corey Davis goes early, because Tennessee does like him. So if Corey Davis goes to Tennessee, then we can see a run on receivers. Um, and that would not be good for the Ravens because then it will leave us with less choices. I personally think that the Ravens like Mike Williams and that if Mike Williams is on the board, they would have the inkling to take him. But Corey Davis is a great player um, and I, he can run routes better than every receiver in this class. And a lot of people think he is the best receiver in this class. Again, it matters who the team is, what the scouts say, different things like that. Let me know what you guys think. Who is the top receiver? Do you think we should take John Ross? Do you like John Ross's speed? Do you like Corey Davis's route running ability? Or do you like Mike Williams' ability to go up and make big catches? Um, let me know and we'll talk about it in the comments. The next story uh, is about another visit and that's for Reuben Foster, Alabama linebacker. He's going to visit the Baltimore Ravens tomorrow. And this news has me kind of nervous because Reuben Foster is a great player, a great, great player. A lot of people think he's one of the best players in this draft. I've even heard that he's a top 10 player in this draft. Um, and what that means to me, that if he's really a top 10 player, that the need meets the skill, the Ravens do believe they might take him. Um, and I've been hearing this, and it was sh shout out to me in the comments, you know, what do I think about it? And I'm, I'm nervous. I, I'm nervous because we really need to invest in our offense. But if an Alabama linebacker, a middle linebacker um, is on the board, and he's really as good as he people say he is. I think I think Ozzy might take him, and Ozzy loves linebackers from Alabama. We know he's taken several in the past couple of years. One being a success, the other one not so much. Um, that one being a success is C.J. Mosley, and I really do think that that if he's there, the Ravens really might take him and go all in on defense, which to me would doom this season. If you don't take an offensive player early, and that could be anyone who you think is a playmaker, a receiver, if you think there's an offensive lineman here who's a playmaker, you take an offensive lineman. If you think there's a running back that's a playmaker, take a running back. Um, but you got to take somebody because you have to be able to score in this league. And last year, we could not score. We would lose games against quarterbacks who could finish, and we would win games 14 to 12, and you can't win games consistently 14 to 12, especially in the playoffs. And, you know, we saw that. And so in order for us to get better, we have to improve our offense. And taking a middle linebacker uh, who's going to be a rookie, we don't need that, especially since we've improved our defense so much this offseason. And it becomes diminishing returns going, you know, further and further down the more we invest into our defense. So especially in the league where even if you have a great defense, you can still get beat by the best quarterback because quarterback is so important. And then the last story of the day is an exciting story. Football is back. Football is back. And, of course, not for us yet. We can't watch it on TV yet. Um, can't go to the games. But the voluntary workout program has started uh, at the Ravens facility. Awesome. I'm going to tell you guys the players that were there. Uh, Eric Weddle. Jimmy Smith, C.J. Mosley, uh, Brandon Carr, Tony Jefferson, Joe Flacco, Danny Woodhead. A lot of our top players were there. 
which is a good thing because we need everyone to come and work out and perform. And a voluntary workout for a player like Jimmy Smith, who was drafted here, who knows that he is going to play, for him to come, it means a lot, right? Joe Flacco always comes, so, you know, I appreciate it, but it's part of his routine. But players like that, you know, like even a, even like a C.J. Mosley, who, again, John Harbaugh said, basically, hey, he's going to be a Raven, you know, for the future, right? He doesn't have to worry, right? He still comes and he puts in the work. And these these training programs aren't easy, right? The first couple of days they do conditioning, different things like that, strength training, and then the in the next couple of days they do uh, football school. So things slow down with football school, of course. But when they do on that training, man, it's it's tough. So again, it's super awesome to see that our best players on the team are there, getting ready to play because the Ravens have high expectations. You got to be in shape physically. You got to be in shape mentally. And the Ravens look like they're going to try to be the best they can be. Hopefully that our offense will, you know, be as good as our defense this year. But only, you know, Tom can tell. So, again, it's awesome news. Some new things uh, that you guys should know. First, there's a new uh, regimen, a new training regimen. Um, you know, last season there was a lot of hoopla about weight loss and different programs like that. And now we got brought a new one in. To help our players, you know, not get injured as much and different things like that. Also, there's a new cafeteria. If you guys want to see it, you can go on BaltimoreRavens.com and they do like a walkthrough of it. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, it's awesome that, you know, players are getting treated so well by an uh, organization like the Baltimore Ravens, a first class organization. We'll see. I'll keep you guys updated as the week goes on about the offseason workouts, you know, because there's always someone who fails the test. Um, if you guys don't know, there's an endurance test to see if you're in shape. There's always someone who fails it. Uh, last year, it was Ladarius Webb. So, and we'll see who has trouble with it this year. Our last thing I want to say is that the, we're doing a new show called uh, Raven Space Mailbag, where we answer your questions. I've been getting some questions already. Please, please, please send me questions at theravenspace at gmail.com. I'll put the email address down below so you guys can click it. It'll also be in the description. Again, send me emails, any question you want. I'll answer the questions on Monday um, just for you guys. Give you guys some shout outs. It'd be awesome. We get to communicate. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to The Raven Space to never miss any news or any other of our cool videos. Also, please watch our Raven Space daily from yesterday and stay up on your Baltimore Ravens news. And remember, go Ravens.